Hey everybody, how many of you as a younger person used to make these models, you know, model cars, model planes, model boats, whatever it was, and you decorate it with the decals that came in the box, you know, the water slide decals, where you'd cut them out, put them in water, let them soften a little bit, and then slide them onto your model. We're going to do the same thing today with pins. I'm going to show you how you can put your logo, your picture, a name, whatever you want on uh, a pen or a piece of wood or whatever. And what's so good about it is it's transparent. Here's one I did. Battleship Foundation of Texas. It's transparent so you can see through it. You can see your grain or your wood or whatever. So stay tuned. We'll see how it's done. Okay, here's what we're going to use to apply our decal. We're using this tester's decal system which includes inkjet paper where you print your decals and then there's a tester's decal bonder that bonds the ink and then seals the ink. You'll need uh, just a little bit of clear water. I usually use just to make it a little warm. A real soft uh, brush or you can use a paper towel and you will need a paper towel. So those are the things you're going to need. And of course, your decals that you've printed up from whatever source that you're going to use. Well, the first thing you have to do is find your artwork. I'm doing 18 pins for the Battleship of Texas Foundation. So I'm trying to utilize the entire five and a half by eight and a half sheet of testers decal paper that's going to give me 18 plus two extras in case uh, of any mishaps but now with this finished I'll print this page up and then we'll be ready to start applying the decal okay with your decal sheet printed and dried I've let it the inkjet print dry for about an hour. Now you'll spray it with the other part of this system. It's Tester's Decal Bonder Spray. And it's just a, a real light coat. And it says to let that dry two hours. Okay, we have our decal sheet printed, sprayed with our bonder. It, in this case, mine sat overnight, but it says to let it make sure it's dry a couple of hours. And now what you want to do is cut out each individual one as close to your design as possible. Okay, now when I turned these blanks, and before I took them off the lathe, I put a real, just a real thin single coat of CA on it, just to seal it. The decal will slide around better on a sealed surface than it does on the raw wood. And sometimes you have to make little adjustments. So before you do this, you want to seal your wood. Again, that's just a real thin coat of CA and once you've got that first decal cut out we're to place it in the water for about five to seven seconds instructions say no longer than that and then I'll remove it from there and then we'll set it on a dry paper towel and that is to let the water debond this adhesive. It says let it sit here on a dry paper towel until the decal wants to slide back and forth. Okay, put it in my water and I usually will go ahead and wet my surface a little bit. It helps me make some adjustments if I have to. 
decal was in for about five seconds. We'll set it on the paper towel. Give it a few seconds. And you can test it by just moving it just a little bit. When the decal starts to slide, then we're ready. So and this one's almost ready. So I want to position mine just a little bit away from this edge. And then we smooth out the edges. what this brush is good for is smoothing out these edges now if you get it misaligned you can wet it again real good and then reapply it but uh, more times than not I find that destroys the decal and I'll come back with a slightly a damp paper towel just real slight damp and then I'll kind of, I guess it's squeegeeing out the water. And sometimes the edges want to curl on you. A little finesse, a little tenderness. And there, now that'll dry. Now you notice that is pretty glossy. Now I'll come back and I'll put see a finish on everything and it'll blend in and you'll never see this glossy dividing line that you see there hey everybody i hope that helps hope you can use that in your pen making now i do have to be uh, honest about something you know we're using that tester system and i have had some problems with the CA glue, I use medium CA in my finish. Uh, kind of having a bad interaction with that tester's debonder or uh, bonding spray. Uh, in this humidity, and it's been raining in Texas while I've been doing this project, but that uh, sometimes that decal wants to get frosty looking, and it doesn't go away when you get the CA finish on it always. Now, what I have found uh, works better, at least in this humid weather, is this Rust-Oleum Clear Satin. This Painter's Touch Rust-Oleum Clear Satin. I've used that on a, a several pens in, in this wet weather, trying to see if it was an interaction with the uh, testers bonding spray and I think maybe it is because this uh, Rust-Oleum seems to be doing much better. Here is a picture of the finished pen that we were working on. It turned out nice and but I just wanted you to know in case you want to experiment on your own. Hey, I appreciate you tuning in. You guys are great with your support. Share my video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you hadn't. And let everybody know we're out here. It helps us a lot. I'll put links in the description below for some of the things we used. Thanks again. Everybody have a good weekend and be safe.